Welcome to another tech tip from Dion McNatty and Associate. Today's tech tip, creating multi-segment cost codes and using them in a cost breakdown structure in Unify. So what, are we what is our end goal? Well, we're trying to create a very simple cost breakdown structure in a cost sheet that has two segments within a cost code and has a very simplified hierarchy parent-child relationship. So let's move over to Unify to see whether it's created and designed. You need to be in the company workspace, the administration mode. We're gonna select data structure setup, go to data definitions. And first I'm gonna show you where the cost code separator resides. There's a system defined one already, simply called cost code separator. This has a default value of a dash, which we're going to use for this demonstration. You can change this to suit your company needs, and it's, it's done within this data definition here. So where are the segments designed and created? Well, we would need to go to the cost code section of the data definitions. And we would simply click new. I actually have created two segments already for this demonstration, but I'm just gonna show you the process of how you create them. So you would simply put a name, I'm just gonna put a label and we have two input type options, pull down menu and text box. Text box is where the user can actually enter the segment value themselves within the cost sheet, or there's the pull down menu option where the user actually selects from a predefined list. We're gonna use the pull down menu. You can see a data set tab appears. It's gonna select it. We now have two options to get the values in. We can either do it manually via the add button or importing via CSV using the import button. I'm gonna show you both methods. Manually, click the add button as I said. The value, which was the segment code, 01, and the label, which is the description, entered here. I would just repeat this for all the segment values that I need for this uh, segment code. If I wanted to import the values, I'll just remove this row. I would simply click the import button. And I'll just quickly show you what the CSV file looks like. It's very simple. Column A has got the values. Column B is the labels. So I'm gonna click import. I'm gonna to browse to my CSV file. And I'm gonna click okay. And there you have it. The three rows from that CSV file are now in this uh, the segment value list. As I said, I've already created these two segments, so I'm just gonna cancel that. I'm just gonna show you our segment A, which can be considered the parent segment. It has the same row values as I uh, just showed you in my uh, demonstration earlier. And our segment B, again, it was done by an import process, has these values. So now we're gonna create the cost codes and put them in a cost breakdown structure, the cost sheet. So we're actually gonna use a cost sheet template. So I'll go to templates. Again, we're in company workspace administration mode. I'm going to select cost sheets from the templates. 
I'm just going to click new and select cost sheet. Now we have three tabs. First tab is our general tab, so I'm just going to give it a title. Leave everything the same. The important stuff happens in the structure tab. So here, we don't want to have it as a flat list. We want to have it as a hierarchy, so we're going to select tree. We know we're going to use two segments, segment A and segment B. Segment A is the parent, segment B is the child codes. So segment one, segment two, you can see that you can have up to 10 segments in your cost codes. The other thing you can do in the options tab is give the labels something more appropriate. I'm just going to call them cost and I'm going to leave the other settings the same. Click OK. We now have our new cost sheet template, but it's empty. So I'm just going to open it. I can either double click or select and click open. And all you would do is click the rows button. So we're gonna get the cost codes in now. We then click add row from the new window. And here we have a cost attribute form. This is the default one that has been set up. You can, the only mandatory fields that you need to add in are the WBS code, which is our cost codes, the cost item, the WBS item, and cost type and status. The others we can leave as is. So adding in the cost code, I'm just gonna click the select button. You can see here, I can now select for, segment A and segment B. And these are coming from each of the data sets that we'd already set up in the de data definitions. So with segment A, I'm just gonna add in the first one. Segment B, which is the child segment code. And I'm gonna click okay. As I said, the mandatory fields, we've got the cost type. I'm just gonna select the status to active, leave the other fields as they are, click OK. So as you can see, we already have one cost code row. Let's add in another one. Again, doing the same steps This time in segment B, I'm gonna select another value. Activate cost code. And you can see we have two cost codes just as represented as a list. Now, if we wanted to create a, a hierarchy, so the administration requirement cost code is underneath the administration cost code. You would select the checkbox for the one that you wanted to indent and click indent. Here you have created the simple hierarchy with these two cost codes. You would then repeat the process for all the other cost codes that you needed. The other option to be able to do it, if you obviously if you've got a, a lot of cost codes, is to do it by import, which is what I'm gonna show you now. So what would the CSV file look like? Well, first of all, you need to export the template by which to populate with the uh, cost code rows. And you would simply click File, Export, and WBS Details. 
With that file, you, you would then add all the cost code rows that you need in the hierarchy, which I'll show you now. So the first, the exported template is the first five rows only. You keep those exactly the same. Don't change any of that. And the following rows are the actual cost code rows. You can see the column A, these give you the actual cost codes. You have your description, the labels, the status. Remember that was a mandatory field as was the cost type. How the hierarchy is actually created, if I look at row six and seven, row six, you can see it's using the two segments separated by the cost code separator, which is considered the, this is considered the parent cost code. And then the other cost code that I created, which was the child one, in order to create this, you would use two tildes in between the cost codes and that would create the position within the hierarchy for this code. So this is what we're going to import in. You can see I've created the codes for the rest of the uh, parent cost codes and its associated child codes. So you would simply click rows I'll just delete these two since they were done manually. So we can start with a clean cost sheet. And I would go to file from the previous window browse the appropriate CSV file, click OK, and there we have it. Our cost codes using two segments in a, in a hierarchy making up the cost breakdown structure. Thank you for watching this text tip on creating multi-segment cost codes using them in a cost breakdown structure and unifier. For more tips, information, or other services, please visit drmcnatty.com. Thank you.